Hey guys, this is Jeff from Antler Grow. One of the biggest questions we get, Dave gets a lot at Whitetail Obsession, is how do we use our pressure washer on our spray rigs? You know, people see the videos and all that. It works great. It's actually awesome. You can spend six, eight, ten thousand dollars on a speed sprayer, or you can make your DIY speed sprayer. What we do is we build the tank up from here where gravity feeds into the bottom right here. The whole key to it is having the inlet lower than the out. out. It's just gravity fed. And you can use that pressure washer just like you do at home. You don't have to have a pump. Some guys that we deal with will put a SureFlow pump, like you see on the back side of the little spray tank there, in line right here with a 12 volt battery. But all we do is just gravity feed this and it works great. When you're pressure washing with this, it's a regular old pressure washer, you can get them anywhere. The uh, the thing is, is you're getting, you know, two and a half gallons a minute, so it lasts a long time. You're getting 50, 60, 75 feet, and if you use the wind to your advantage when it's windy, you don't want to do that with herbicides because you don't want to drift. But with the micronutrient nutrition and the fertilizer, you don't mind everything getting what it needs, the nutrients it needs. So a little bit of drift helps you, and you could go to the outside of your food plot and never touch it. You just drive around the outside, you know, so we'll go around the whole thing spraying towards the middle. We covered the whole food plot for nothing. This tank right here holds 200 gallons. We can do almost two hours worth of spraying with this tank with this right here. And it's nice because you can hook this trailer up to the back of the buggy and go anywhere, do anything. Another thing too, and this would be the biggest that we do, you know, for just our hunting leases, you know, without using the big rigs, you know, the spray booms. But this is great for ATVs, golf carts even, um, good spot sprayer. Some people use it on, you know, food plots and whatnot. Um, but it doesn't do as much as we like to do. But th this holds 15 gallons, but it's battery operated, does really good. If you're going to use one of these, get a high flow pump. That way you're, you're using a lot of product. You know, so you can go fast, you can drive faster. Another thing too that's been out in the last few years, I mean, it feels, feels like a, a spray commercial, but we're just trying to tell you guys what we do. You know, we're not anything. We just promote what we think works. But this right here, this battery operated four gallon backpack sprayer is, is awesome. I mean, it is awesome. It's it, about 35, 40 PSI at all times. No more of that hand pumping. And you know, no consistency, you just walk and spray. We use this a lot back in the woods around bow stands, whatnot. I know Dave loves it. He's actually the one to turn us on to it because we always use them and we drove the foilers around, you know. But this is really, really good. So if you guys, doesn't matter what size. But the pressure washer was the biggest question. It's very simple. Um, we actually have a boom on the back that we've knocked off with trees so we just duct taped it. But we put Boominator heads on here, right? This right here is just a sprinkler head. That's all this is. And we'll use this because you can shut it off either way and just do a roadside, you know? But um, you'll see videos where we got the Boominator going with two of them. It's got like a two 30 foot sprays and you're going through a lot of products. So if you got, you know, if you're fuller feeding and you want to put a lot of product on your food plot in a fertilizer or in the micros, antler grow, you can use the Boominator, but that's pressure washer is the bomb. Um, but that's it. Just gravity fed. It's very simple. But hopefully this helps you understanding, you know, even if you want to use a 15 gallon sprayer with your four-wheeler, you can make a little bracket that goes on the bottom side of your four-wheeler. We're just, but as long as it's below this, you're good. Hope this helps guys. Any questions, always feel free. Antlergrow.com. Thanks.